My name is Mike, and here at Highland Hill Farm, I'm staking forest pansy redbuds. They are a whip, and we have to stake them because if we don't, they sometimes get a little curved to them. And what I do is I have a handy dandy poster calendar thing. I put it into the stake like that. I go find the base of the tree and try to put it in the side that needs to stake the bleeding, and I'm just pushing it as far as far as it really wants to go, and that's about it. And that's I'm pushing it in, and then I have Freddy over there, and he's using the tape, and he tapes him up like you know what he's doing. Okay, want to explain about Freddy taping him up here? Sure. Well, Freddy, what he's got, he's got green tying tape, tying tape, and uh, if you look at the base of it, he wraps it twice at the base. And then once on the way up, the reason we do the place at the base is that's where it's got the most pressure on it. Because that's what makes it go straight. And then just once up every couple of inches, whatever it needs to take in order to make it go straight. Uh, sometimes we have ones that go a little bit higher, then after that we just let it go. Sometimes we have ones that are a little bit smaller and we don't even stake those. So. And how long will they stay staked? Uh, they'll probably stay staked for until the end of next year growing season and then we'll probably take them off or if we don't have time to take them off and they'll stay on until we get them dug. But they're just on right now until they get rooted out and once they get a nice good root system on and they have a new layer of, of caliber grown on it, then the stakes are not needed and we can take them off. And I see you have a drip tape on them for, for irrigation? Yeah, that's netafin and uh, that's what we use to put water on them. We probably don't need it since we had like three inches of rain the other day. but. If it doesn't rain, we have that on as a precaution so our trees get watered. Okay, Michael, and uh, what other kind of trees do you raise here at Highland Hill Farm? Well, we have, well, just right over there, we have Persian Perota, we have Cusa Dogwoods, then we have Magnolia, Magnolia Ann, then we have, and they just keep going on over and over and over, then we have uh, Yoshino Cherry, and to fill, finish out this field, we have I think like 20 or so of the straight species sycamore. Okay, and we 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 do a lot of shade trees, screening trees, and buffering trees, correct? Yeah. And we deliver and plant around the East Coast areas. That's right. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And again, this is the forest pansy redbud. That's correct. Yeah. And when does it bloom? It blooms <laughs> real early in the spring. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.